So you have D transposition, L transposition. In D transposition, they should be obligate regions because of two parallel circulation. The aorta rises from the pulmonary valve and the pulmonary artery rises from the left ventricle. And what is very important is there is cyanosis with increased vasculature. In L transposition, you have the right atrium, left ventricle and the left ventricle gives rise to pulmonary artery. Then pulmonary vein goes into left atrium, right ventricle and right ventricle gives rise to the iota. This is basically congenital corrected transposition. Here, the vasculature may be normal or increased with large VSD. In DTGA, you have iota anterior and to the right of the pulmonary artery. In LTGA, you have iota is anterior and to the left of the pulmonary artery. So, you have to understand the arrangements in DTGA and LTGA. Coming to the congenitally corrected transposition, it is a atrioventricular discordance and ventricular arterial discordance. That means there is right atrium which was supposed to go into right ventricle, instead it goes into the left ventricle and the left ventricle which was supposed to go into iota instead goes into the pulmonary artery. There is atrioventricular discordance and ventricular arterial discordance. And the left atrium which was supposed to drain into left ventricle drains into the right ventricle and the right ventricle which is supposed to give rise to PA instead gives rise to iota. So, you have both switched. Now, coming to complex uh, transposition of gate artery, the association with other cardiac abnormalities in addition to TGA is referred as complex TGA. The first and foremost is TGA with intact ventricular septum. There is no VSD. This requires an ASD or a PDA for the survival to happen. Next is a VSD is present with TGA. This is about in 50% of patient with TGA. The third is TGA VSD with left ventricular outflow tract obstruction. Here you have obstruction in the left ventricular outflow tract. This is present in about 25% of the patient and they have other defects like pulmonary stenosis or pulmonary atresia. They might be no pulmonary valve or stadding of the iota or coagulation of iota. This type of abnormalities can also coexist with TGA. Another important anomaly which is associated with TGA is toxic bing anomaly. Here there is small portion of pulmonary artery with the subpulmonic ventricular septal defect. Coming to the clinical classification. This clinical classification helps in the treatment. The first type is TGA. You have an intact ventricular septum or a small VSD. The pulmonary blood flow is increased and there is a small intracardiac strain. This is the usual type which is present. TGA with large VSD with the large pulmonary blood flow and a large intracardiac strain. Here your PA pressure will be a problem. Third type will be TGA VSD. There is left ventricular outflow tract obstruction, but the pulmonary blood flow is restricted. Here, your pulmonary blood flow is restricted and your systemic outflow is also restricted. Another important type is TGA VSD and pulmonary vascular obstructive disease. Your PVR is high and your pulmonary blood flow is restrictive. This is a clinical classification of TGA and depending upon which classification patients belong to, your treatment may 